Detective Benoit Blanc is back for Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. It's in theaters for a limited time ending on November 29th and then going to Netflix on December 23rd, just in time for Christmas. This will be a spoiler-free review. In case you are unaware, the synopsis reads that tech billionaire Miles Braun invites his friends for a getaway on his private Greek island. When someone turns up dead, Detective Benoit Blanc is put on the case. This gives you just the bare bones of a great mystery with many turns that were unexpected. I think it's best to go in blind to the story. Hopefully, social media doesn't ruin any part of this great film. The only non-pertinent info to this mystery I will tell you is that there are quite a few cameos that surprised me. And even though a majority of the film takes place on a remote island, they still find a way to bring in some iconic people. The detective, Benoit Blanc, as a main character in this franchise, has grown, and we see more of him, who he is as a person, compared to what we see of him in Knives Out. His placement on the island makes perfect sense in context of the story, and it only adds greatly to the twists and turns that were to come. Daniel Craig does great as his character. He does great to break the story of the murder, but most of the heavy lifting for this film is done by Janelle Monet. Her acting in this is why I love murder mysteries, why I love films, and I expect her to be a awards contender. Glass Onion differs greatly from Knives Out, as the former I felt was a great subversion of the murder mystery trope. This film is more along the lines of what you expect from a classic murder mystery story, but again, it has many twists and many turns. One that was revealed at the high point of the film that I never could have seen coming. I think Ryan Johnson did an amazing job putting together a fantastic story and a great cast that made this story come to life. I have no doubt that he can continue with more ideas keeping the franchise fresh and exciting. The characters' motivations were made very clear, and some were multi-layered and faceted that helped add to the story. I had my gears turning constantly across each person on the island, weighing in on their actions, and at the climax of the film, it all got turned around. I was blown away and unable to figure out who or why the killer did what they did. But once it was revealed, it made perfect sense, and you see how all the things peppered throughout the film hinted to what had been going on. It just made the film even better, and will make the rewatch more fun. I was also surprised that there was a bit of social commentary about powerful people, as most of these people hold power in their respective fields, and what that means to each of them and to themselves. It fits with the current political climate. Ryan has never shied away from such things with Knives Out taking on some elements of class, privilege, and immigrant workers, but this takes it to those who hold power and what they do with it. I think this film is definitely worth a watch in theaters if it's available in your area. And when it drops on Netflix, I know I'll be back for more. But are you interested in seeing Glass Onion in theaters? Or will you wait to see it on Netflix? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. My name is Dallas. And I'll see you inside the onion.